chance to put Cork City ahead early in the showgrounds. Oh, it's a good save. Fine stop. Starting sunny day in the northwest. In a season where Sligo Rovers started disastrously, then had a wonderful spell where they were getting all sorts of points. Oh, there's Junior. And it's Sligo Rovers who've got the lead goal. He's just a bit too quick for Henry Ochiang. Good battling play. It almost broke for Elliot there as uh, O'Brien Whitmarsh knocked down John Mahan's attempted clearance. Now it's Will Seymour. And here's some space for Devers. And he had a go. Always uh, a little bit right of the, the Cork City team. Might be the tallest player on the pitch indeed. Kevin O'Connor standing over it. It's McGlade who goes for goal and it's there! It's gone all the way through. Slagger Rovers allowing that one to travel a very long way across the face of goal and past Ed McGinty. And Cork City have got the equaliser. A most unusual goal. It didn't look like there was much on there. But in the 64th minute, Dylan McLeod has come off the bench Elliot first to make to the it. rebound. O'Connor trying to get forward. Buckley's clearance is deflected and Kean Coleman had the shot which uh, McGinty had to get down to save. In comes the corner from Don and flapped at by Bossen. Oh, he just got his arm to it. As Banks tried to follow up, but it's going to be a penalty to Sliger Rovers. Referee just making sure that every player is outside of the penalty area and the D. Can Coughlin put Sliger Rovers ahead? And he just slides it in. Bossen complaining that he uh, stuttered on his uh, run up.